Hello everyone and welcome back to That Fan Geek Plays Some Aldasta. Now, today we are going to be doing something very special. I'm going to be uh, currently working on the Town of Nothing. Now, uh, I am starting my own little survival town that timeline's a bit wonky on, but with that town it's going to be uh, completely my survival, so, uh, survival series. I'm going to go with it as planned build everything from there, and that's when that's going to be starting. I'm going to uh, actually record the first episode earlier. I'm going to have to uh, edit it, and as soon as I get it edited, 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 it's going straight up to YouTube. But uh, first things first, I thought uh, you all would enjoy a little bit of a mixed combo video of us doing some building in the uh, city of nothing, kind of fleshing out the areas I don't have, maybe even expanding the forest over here. Now, uh, I know this town from above looks uh, fairly small, but when you just start doing a walkthrough of it, it becomes, oops, 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 it becomes very, very apparent just how much, how big this town is. Uh, also, there are cats here, which, hold on, hold on, we're gonna... Wow, I got the kit. Alright. I can't tell. Do cats follow you? Cats do. Okay. Kit, you must come over here. Come, kit. Okay, sit. Okay. So, like, when you're, when you're going down... It's actually a pretty decently sized town. Um, now, it is. it does seem to be uh, both underpopulated and yet overpopulated. There is, there is a main big bustling in over here, but uh, not a lot of people in the actual town. And that's what I'm hoping to fix today, as well as actually giving a little bit more towns for uh, the Windurst refugees, who I will explain later. Uh, but for now, uh, why don't we get started with some uh, little bit of basic lore. Well, the Town of Nothing actually started uh, when Bastok got destroyed between the fight of ba uh, Pebble and the Hall, which resulted in the complete destruction of Bastok. A couple of uh, Pebble devotees decided to move out as far away from the hall as possible uh, that they could think of, and they ended up moving to the flo the flood uh, blah, 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 the delta of the Nile and setting up a small little drug ring, and while also supplying um, sugarcane and all their sugars and kelp to the actual city of Windurst, which at the time was the only powerhouse left standing up against the hall. Now, in, in its time, it saw uh, three different gods, and it currently has devotees to all three gods, but at first it started as Pebble. And then, Bahal moved his troops in here as he prepared to march onto Windurst for its destruction, and um, while here, uh, he expanded plen, plen, blah, 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 blah. he expanded uh, the town, adding stuff like this dock and uh, stuff like the portal house and the general store, as well as creating the shrine woods. Now, uh, as as much as Pebble does uh, as, as Pebble does love his uh, ooh. Let me, let me stop stumbling on my words there. As much as Pebble does love his followers, he usually does not do much in the form of gifts, and Bahal took advantage of this. Bahal showered the people of nothing with gifts in order to try and win some uh, followers over, but it was kind of hard considering everyone here who had already been here, minus the troops from the army of Bahal, were all people from Bastok, which is a city that he destroyed. And so tensions really started to rise here, as uh, as Bahal's troops and the and the nothing natives really started getting into it. Now, it is worth it is worth mentioning that really 
at the end of the day, nothing ended up happening because, well, no one really had the balls to go either way. The uh, armies of Bahal, they were contracted to not harm any of the civilians, and then the followers of Pebbles, they, they knew that if they had attacked them just once, uh, their entire town would be fucked. And so they kind of sat there in a very, very aggressive standmate until one day one person had the idea to build the Colosseum, to where you can have fair fights, um, and it all would be well in the world. And so this is really how it ended up happening. But there was one day that the fights, I mean, it was, it was just too much. And the Colosseum was a wreck. If I go over here... Uh, and grab my wand out of here. The uh, the people of the people of uh, nothing would fight in here so often that at the end of the day, the Colosseum would be left looking like this, and uh, well. It would be up to the people of nothing to fix it, because this is the only way they could actually get their anger out. And so, <laughs> what ended up happening is Bahal thought, well, why don't I build them a place uh, to where they could fight and actually have all this take place. And so he asked the people of nothing what they wanted in a coliseum, and their only instructions were a place where you can 1v1 me, mate. And that ended up in the construction of the Colosseum world. Uh, and if you look through, it is a very, very huge, expansive place taking place in like a pseudo-in dimension. And it shows landmarks such as the original vast, uh, the original Cape Turgen, as well as the small add-on over here. Uh, stuff from Bastok, the, like a completely unruined Bastok, and the Isles of Windurst, actually. And it was all a, a place from all three cities merged into one, and it was a place to where people could fight unharmed, they could blow up everything as they want, as much as they wanted, whenever they wanted, and everything would come back. And so you could sit there and say there's someone up here, you fling yourself up, check a power stone there, and, well, completely blow up the tower. No no repercussions were going to come from that. And it gave a, a area of a lot more freedom, and it reduced the tensions a great deal in the City of Nothing. Now, let's go ahead and go back into the actual town, because we're about to get into the most... Um, oh... I forgot, I destroyed the arena. Don't worry, it does rebuild itself. As you can see, it's rebuilding there. Um, we're getting to the most tense part of the entire city of nothing. This is when Bahal actually decided to make his move on Windurst. Now, Bahal had been gearing up for this for quite some time. And as you can see, there was a great wall that was constructed just in case something bad was to happen. And Bahal knew that Tiamat would not harm the city of nothing because, well, it wasn't Bahal's people. Uh, the city of nothing and the denizens of nothing had, for lack of a better term, nothing to do with this war and they were just victims of Bahal. And so, in this, uh, nothing remained unscathed. Well, uh, Winders did not. The original Windurst was completely and utterly destroyed by Bahal and his army in a sneak attack that Tiamat was both expecting, but not so soon. And it was at this moment that Bahal did not give chase to any of the people, uh, any of the residents. He, all he wanted was to assert his dominance and really, you know, and really show Tiamat who was, was in, top, in charge and who was on top. Now, what this resulted in is the same thing that happened to Bastok, a moving of people into the city of nothing. And that brings us to current day. 
we are currently here, and me as the current mayor and builder of nothing, I'm stuck with a big problem of I have too many people and not enough space to put them. Now I am at f almost max capacity on my in my inn, and well, I'm running out of space, and so I'm going to have to start building. And so I have an idea to kind of utilize this design right here. And similar to what I did with the inn, put these and dot them all over. Now, I am thinking of doing like a little bit more slim, like kind of, uh, how to put it, more fancy design. Just because, well, as much as I do like the both designs of these, they kind of seem a little plain for me. And I don't want to go with like this kind of shanty style house again. And so... Uh, using, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we are going to be building up some, uh, beautiful, beautiful towns here, and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a time lapse for, uh, you guys, just so you can see a, a whole bunch of stuff, and then you can witness the finished project. So. Thank you. 